to give you a small thought on three steps to elevation. Give a clap and say, I want to come up. Come on, I want you to join me, okay? As I'm speaking this message, I want you to join me. That's what I missed last week when we uh, recorded. Now, three steps to your elevation or coming up or to your crown or to your victory. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 7, we've got the three steps written by Paul. Paul says, I have fought a good fight. I want you to say it with me. I have fought a good fight. Number two, I have finished my course. Say, I have finished my course. And number three, I have kept my faith. Yeah. And then he says, henceforth, there is a crown for me in heaven. That means, he says, I have a crown. I have a big position in heaven. I'm going to be in a very high status because number one, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I've kept my faith. Amen. There is no crown without a cross. It does not, it does not matter how you begin. You might begin as a poor person. I know a Wada man who became a millionaire. And I know an auto driver who became a travel agent. I also know of what's his name, Malia, who became a bankrupt. It does not know, it does not matter how you begin. What matters is how you finish. Amen. Today you may be very small here. Today you may be thinking that I'm a nobody. Today you may be thinking that I have nothing in life. I've come to give you a good news. That if you follow these three steps of Paul, you can be elevated to the highest position and God can use you in a mighty way. Can you give a clap to Jesus and tell him, Lord, I thank you that you're going to exalt me. The three steps are number one, Paul says, I am getting a crown because I fought a good fight. What is a good fight? I thought all fights are bad. What is a good fight and a bad fight? I'll tell you that. There is a bad fight too. <clears throat> Have you seen some cute, good looking, you know, girls, they're so cute, full makeup and, you know, they look so nice and pretty. They won't open their mouth even to smile. They'll just say, you look at them, they look as if they will never do anything bad. They're so sweet. Or some guys, you know, they walk so sophisticated, so decent, rumba recent. And they, nobody can even, you know, talk to them. But when they get into a fight, you will understand the cuteness disappears. Have you ever seen? When they get angry, when they fight, wah, 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 they shout so badly, you really feel, is this the same person? But there is, that's not a good fight. There is a good fight, which is a fight against the devil. Amen? A fight against the devil. My friend, a very close friend of mine, is such a sweet man, he's so decent. We lived together for nearly nine months or ten months in one small room in Chennai. And he was such a good person. But he and his wife used to always fight. Always fight. Because uh, she... She wanted to be egoistic. He felt he's great. She felt she's great. And you know, that's how fights begin. And both of them started fighting and fighting and fighting. They couldn't stay together. So she, he bought her a house in Bangalore. And he bought himself a house in Chennai. They were living separately. Not yet divorced. And they were so much. Every week he used to drive down to Bangalore, meet her and go back. But they couldn't live together because always fighting. Ego clash. She thought she's very great. He felt he's great. Yesterday, in the morning, his office called him up and asked him. Uh, they called him up. He didn't pick up the phone. And when they went to his room, he was lying dead. They had to break open the room and get in. I was so sad. This morning, I got the news. That's why I prepared this message. It's, I want you to learn from this, my dear children. He was found dead in his house. He could not finish the race. You know why? Because of the bad fight. The bad fight. 
ego thinking great anger jealousy hatred these are the bad fights the devil puts into your life so that you can never finish your race and poor guy he died and you know what i just spoke to her two hours back and she was crying crying bitterly she was crying so badly and she said i never knew he had such a weak heart if i knew his heart was weak i thought he's very strong you know sometimes egos make you so strong you look so strong but actually you're weak if i knew he's had a weak heart i would have been with him my friends our fight should not be with people all people are good maybe you hate somebody today maybe you're jealous of somebody maybe you feel someone is against you i want to tell you that's a bad fight which the devil puts so that you will never finish your race we need to love everyone god says i want you to finish the race what i created you for i made you i placed talents in you i gave you beauty and i gave you wisdom but you i picked you up and washed you from your sins but you're focusing on a bad fight it's time to stop the bad fight and get into a good fight you know what is the good fight whenever you feel like fighting with any human being say to the devil i know that's not my fight put away sin put away jealousy put away hatred put away strife put away ego and say i love all my friends i love everyone because jesus loved me when i was the worst i love this thought when that lady was brought to be stoned she came to the feet of jesus and everyone were great standing and pointing a finger at her saying she 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 with the stones in their hand but jesus bent down he went so low and he picked her up because he knew that they were worse than her i want to tell you sometimes we are worse than others we feel they are bad but actually they are better than us my one of my friends he wanted to put away his wife and he said she's bad she's a very bad lady and he told me 10 reasons why he wants to put her away and i spoke to her i got two good reasons on his mobile phone he has sent a message to somebody saying i want to divorce her and she saw it i told them is it good he was shocked when i gave him the second reason he said yes i will take her back i want to tell you friends there are many things which we are blinded to we feel our enemies our neighbors are bad our friends are bad and we point a finger but jesus is saying that's the devil that's not a good fight a good fight is to tell the devil i don't want to fight with people i don't want sin i don't want evil force i don't want temptation i want to be reaching out for my reward i want to go upward amen so the first step that we need to do is we need to aim for our crown hate what is evil romans 12:9 says hate what is evil cling to what is good love everyone sincerely one young man said came and told me what is there pastor you only say love everyone so i am loving her i am not talking about bible says love everyone it doesn't say only run behind one girl behind the tree it says love everyone take all the girls and go i'm happy amen <laughs> why only one you are chasing you get my point jesus says love everyone don't hate that's from the devil that's a bad warfare paul is saying i fought a good fight fought against the devil i had sickness i fought it i had pain i fought it i got starvation i fought it no money in my house i fought it loneliness i know some of you are feeling lonely today loneliness i fought it and i said devil you may make me feel lonely but i have got a god with me and his name is jesus can you give a clap to jesus hate evil 
hate sin hate jealousy don't fall for hatred and strife love everyone as jesus loved us when you see a sinner look at that sinner go and hug them and say my jesus loves you i tell you you can win a soul i want to tell you friends love your enemies love everyone don't hate that is the good fight the good fight is to tell the devil keep away and tell people jesus loves you that's the good fight amen second point paul says i have finished my course look at your neighbor and say finish your course today nobody wants to finish anything they drop outs of churches of schools of marriages everyone wants divorce you get married within one week they're saying i want to get divorced why she is not making me happy brother what happy you want even sister wants more happiness only jesus can give you happiness if you want happiness from a man don't marry him i'm telling you i'm giving you a good advice to children if you want to marry for happiness don't marry no man can give you happiness no woman can give you happiness only jesus can give you happiness amen give a clap to jesus only jesus can give you happiness paul says i have i will get a crown because i finished my course it may be difficulties there may be hardship there may be no finances for your education there may not be pocket money sometimes you are used to getting 100 rupees pocket money and then suddenly daddy will say no money today that time your face will change when you have hardships like that you know what you need to do look up to god don't leave the hand of god difficulties just stick on just stay don't go away just stay you know if we are walking if our if our if our life is like this many people commit suicide on the way they suddenly find hardship and they committed suicide one boy he did badly in his exam and he committed suicide thinking he'll fail but you know what happened when he died but when the result came he got first class that's why jesus is telling us just stay there you feel things are bad just hold on to jesus and stay there don't give up finish your race finish the course finish what god has wanted you to do you may not be a winner you may not be so eloquent you may not be so good looking but just hang on to jesus and say lord whatever happens i will stay with you till i finish my life here god will fulfill his desire in your life don't give up jesus was a finisher my dear children jesus was a finisher you know when they whipped jesus on the on the on that uh, pole you remember in that passion of christ they whipped him they were they were you know nails pulling out his flesh that pulled out his flesh and every piece of flesh that came out from his back he could have died doctor says it is impossible for a man to survive it but you know what jesus was crawling but held on held on because he wanted to finish what he came for my god has put a purpose something he has put inside each one of you and me with a purpose to be fulfilled maybe a doctor maybe an engineer maybe just a preacher maybe just a counselor maybe just comforting someone but he has a purpose for each of your life don't give up finish the race for which god has chosen you my dear friend if jesus had to give up on that pillar on that pole he just had to give up and all his flesh was gone you and me would not have been saved but jesus was crawling and still he held on to his life he didn't give up because he saw you and me that day and even after that he had to carry a heavy cross and after that the nails on his hands the crown of thorns it was not easy my dear children but jesus held on until he said 
he had finished carrying the sins of the world the shame of the world whatever secrets the world is doing today he carried it on himself and he said it is finished jesus is a finisher and that's why we need to hold on to jesus i want to tell you my god has given you life in this world to be a finisher to be a great person don't give up on your life don't think that you're useless don't think that you're a nobody if you hold on to jesus you will be a great person he can exalt you he can elevate you i told you i know of an auto driver who became a millionaire a man who was making vadas became a millionaire you're much better than any of these things with jesus hold on to jesus i used to carry my books in yellow pages i used to carry books 25 books and run in the bus from vasanagar to pinia and go door to door and sell those books 25 rupees those books though i was a bsc graduate those days bsc graduate some of you are ba graduates you are very proud i was a bsc graduate and those days it was hep but i used to carry these books and run i knew that god has put something inside of me i want to tell you friends god has made you with a purpose don't give up too soon just hold on to the finisher the author and the finisher of our faith his name is his name is amen hold on to jesus he will finish what he began in you don't give up my dear friends and finally paul says i have kept my faith look at your neighbor and say keep your faith come on keep your faith keep your faith because paul says i have kept my faith i had starvation i had poverty i had to go to jail but i kept my faith in jesus because i knew jesus is the one who can finish my race for me little bit problems don't leave jesus my dear children a young girl she left her faith in jesus and ran behind one fellow I told her don't go. I told her don't go. I said you can go but don't leave your faith. And she was walking many 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 miles. I see some some of our children doing that, walking on the wrong path, leaving their faith. I said don't leave your faith for the sake of a rich man. And she went behind him. He gave her two beautiful daughters. and finally hanged her onto the window that's what can happen to you if you lose your faith don't leave your faith it may be money it may be some beauty it may be one bike or a car it may be some lust or some desires don't leave your faith in jesus because jesus is the one who never left he never gave up for you my dear child don't leave your faith finally she died that's what will happen if you lose your faith and she could not finish the race she could not finish her course what i'm trying to tell you today is you need to keep your faith there may be times of loneliness there may be times where you feel depressed there may be anxious moments when you feel where is my jesus don't lose your faith in jesus because jesus will never give up There may be times when you feel that you are useless that I am a sinner what is the use of me I am a sinner I want to tell you friends don't lose your faith hold on to your faith in spite of weaknesses in spite of sins in spite of struggles Jesus still loves you he will never give up on you hold on to Jesus Paul says I fought a good fight I finished my race and I have kept my faith now I know that there is a laid up for me a crown in heaven if you want a crown if you want to go up in life you need to fight the good fight number 
you need to finish what god has started in you and number 3 hold on to your faith don't leave the hands of jesus can we give a clap to jesus and tell him lord i love you jesus lord i love you jesus can you say that you may begin well you may fight a good fight you may finish the race but most important hold on to your faith it may mean to crawl it may mean to struggle it may mean that you cannot even go forward it may mean to hop or to limp whatever it is don't leave your faith in jesus because jesus is the one who crawled to the cross he crawled to the cross he literally crawled to the cross for you and me can you just close your eyes Ooh. hold on to jesus i know many people are leaving jesus for the sake of little money i know a young girl she left my jesus and she's walking steps in order to go into the wrong path i see it on facebook my heart breaks jesus still loves her if you've been making mistakes It's okay my child but money cannot exalt you riches cannot exalt you your beauty cannot exalt you your treasures cannot exalt you your parents cannot lift you up a rich man cannot lift you up a beautiful girl cannot lift you up only Jesus can exalt you you need to hold on to the hands of Jesus can we say it with me lord i need you say it with me everyone Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Say it, say it. Every hour I, I need, need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, Lord, how I need you. Everyone say it. I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. And without you, without you, I fall apart. You're the one who guides my heart. Yes, Lord, Lord I need. everybody to stand up and make this confession from the bottom of your heart everybody say this with me lord jesus i need you lord i will fight the good fight i will fight only against the devil and not against people jesus i will be faithful to you till i finish my race And Jesus I will never leave your hand I will hold on to you Jesus till my last breath